Okay, I heard a voice of a guy come through, what'd you say? This looks messy on here, all the stuff in the counter. <laughs> um, this is a little experiment I was going to do last night, didn't get around to it, I was too tired. So I have a crucifix here, I don't know the origins of the crucifix, it's old. I think I got it from an antique shop, I don't remember where. It looks like the kind that the priests use when they go to homes to do communion or blessings or something. I can't find the information on the actual cross about what, where it's from or how old it is or anything. <coughs> Excuse me. So, since I've been getting spirits, I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't like gossiping about them because they're listening to everything I say, but and some creepy, malevolent sounding ones that's basically saying blasphemous things yesterday. And I figured I'd see what, how they'd react to that, if they even notice it or see it, I don't know. I don't know what they physically see. Maybe they just see energy, I don't know. I've had them say specific stuff, though. It's like, oh, you do see. Um, but other times I've asked them, you know, what color is someone's shirt? How many fingers am I showing? They give the wrong answer, so. I don't know. Maybe they're different. They're all different. Anyway, who is here right now? I heard one guy that didn't make out what you said. I had the fan on. I wasn't recording. It was definitely not radio. As you can see, that's the portal spirit box. I had some snarky guy on. Uh, uh, I think it was the Slapped Hand Facebook page. I like Slapped Hand, by the way. Um, he posts some really good stuff. But uh, whoever this guy was said he doesn't like portal boxes, spirit boxes. I don't remember. The he prefers EBPs from voice recorders. Well, those are flawed in their own. They're flawed in their own way. They they're not always clear. Um, you can get. Watching the shadows on the towel there from the can oh. candles. Um, that's very echoey. Then get audio pareidolia with the uh, voice recorders. You get somebody stunning growling, somebody farting, you hear somebody in the next room talking, hello, and it sounds like a spirit voice. Motorcycles go by, it sounds like a growl. I mean, there's all kinds of things with that. Plus, you're not seeing it on video. Well, unless they're videoing, I mean, on top of that, but just the voice recorder itself, you know, it's not any better than using a spirit box. Um, I do think it's a lot better than using an app. The apps I don't trust. I do think there's something to apps, though, too. I just think you get audio pareidolia, you get program voices that are not the person's voice that's deceased, whoever that is. <coughs> and then they get ones with like random words that the maker probably threw in there like demon and ghost and whatnot. But, but there's something to some apps because I've had them say names, odd names, <coughs> specific things, relevant things. I think spirits find a way or to communicate with whatever means they can. And I was reading something interesting about, not what didn't seem like it'd be related, but when you think about it, it is related. 
uh, 4G, 5G internets and phones and whatnot, and how the services are getting kind of worse because of the changes. How can we? Well, I'm using a modified radio, and the I'm not I'm not an electrician electrician technician by any means, so. Uh, but the 4G, 5Gs are using radio signals, basically, so it's related to this still. And I know spirits can manipulate phones, they can mess with electricity, with computers, TVs, I've seen them do it. Here and elsewhere, in my house and elsewhere. I have them shut down movies and try to figure up here and... <laughs> I think they didn't like that particular carry carry one and, and carry two they reacted to. Um, some of the other paranormal things they kind of like mess up the <clears throat> internet connection I think as well. Make lights flicker, whatnot. But it's too coincidental. Of course I don't know why they wouldn't like scary movies, but who knows? It's weird how I'm talking and they're not saying much of anything. Are you just listening to me? You're awfully quiet. What is that noise? Sound like a very low growl. I don't know what that was. What do you think of this crucifix I bought in here? And you're probably wondering, why do I do my sessions in the bathroom? Well, that's where they speak, mostly. I think there's a portal here. Uh, maybe I created it because this is where I predominantly do my sessions. It's the quieter part of the house. There's no windows, so it's dark, day or night. Um, so yeah, that's mostly, mostly why I do it. Maybe to a lesser extent, the mailbox lot here, kind of like access to the outside, because I think they're outside as well. But they were definitely in the backyard the other day when I did a session. I should probably do one on my old Mustang, because I know that's haunted too. It's been a while. I used to do it on the Mustang, but there is a, I don't know if he's still around, there's a young male who owned it, who's not very friendly. I haven't heard him in a while, I don't think. He insults me, so. It's kind of strange. I haven't been hearing the spirits insult me so much. They haven't been telling me to take a bath, or you're fat, or you're a troll. I haven't been hearing that kind of stuff in a while. But I've definitely been hearing, like, demonic sounding, <laughs> a little strange chanting. Is that church music? That sounds like something from a church. What? You guys are very quiet. Are there any spirits here? I'm not sure why this would make a difference. Not knocking the religious aspect of it, but on the back of my portal box. Livid. Livid? Um. You're livid? About what? Oops, someone's touching me. Are you touching my arm? I don't like it when you guys do that. Are you upset? Are you livid? It's flickering. It was not flickering earlier. Can you light up a cat ball if you're here? If there are any spirits here? I find this very strange you're not talking after I brought in this crucifix and candles. 
I normally have this in the living room. I have a whole bunch of crucifixes in the living room. Um, kind of a collector of it. It just, I don't know. It made me feel better. What kind of what? Kind of what? Anyways, it made me feel more comfortable having that out there with my disabled parents in their medical beds. My mother's deceased now. My father's still out there, so I feel like it's protective, at least in that area, even though I see spirits in the living room. Um, maker. His maker? What's that mean? Is that a God reference? Are you speaking of God? Do you know where this crucifix came from? Who owned it before or where it came from? Are you afraid of it? You're oddly quiet. I don't know what to, that's that's me doing that, sorry. Okay, let's try to put that more over there, we can see it better. Stop flickering. So I've got cat balls. I don't have much in here. I've got this REM HD, which is like a REM pod static device. It's flickering a little bit. I think that's static energy. A cheaper REM pod. Works just fine though. K2 and some cat balls. That's about it. Like I said, I don't remember where I got this crucifix. I think it's one of the take the homes to give blessings and communion. Did a priest use this crucifix? I know it's not from Europe, or at least not from a non-English speaking, because it does have a sticker inside that tells how to keep it clean. But the sticker looks old. It's all this colored yellowed tan. So it's probably from the USA, I'm guessing. And most likely Catholic, since it is a crucifix, not a plain cross. Which makes a difference when you're dealing with evil spirits because the crucifix, the corpus, the body of Christ has uh, meaning to it versus just a plain cross. Without getting into the whole technical religious aspect of it. You guys are very quiet, so maybe my experiment is showing that you're afraid of the crucifix of Jesus on there. And it is. What did you say? I almost like you said editing. What? Where are the creepy spirits that were coming through the other day? You know who you are. 
Since you won't tell me your names. You are afraid, aren't you, of Jesus? I'm not hearing any particularly nice spirits coming through either. Where's Hillary? See, that sounds like church music again. That's bizarre. That sounds like old Catholic. Early on. Like Catholic Mass, like Latin Mass. I don't know if that one guy said behind me. Did you say behind me? And. It is cold in here. I don't know why it's so cold, but I feel like there's a breeze and there's no windows, there's no opening. That's Spanish. I heard cielo, that's heaven. Are you talking about heaven? Estás hablando del cielo? ¿Qué piensas de la, la cruz aquí? Yeah, this is definitely having an effect on them. This is interesting. Can you play more church music? I didn't even say any prayers today yet. What? I couldn't hear you. I think the creepy, evil, or want to be evil spirits are not coming. Makes it about time. Was that Hillary? What did you say, Hillary? I think that was Hillary. What did you say? Can you speak slower, please? I know this is still that same, not as good SB7 radio. Slow, yeah, speak slow. Do you see? Do you see the crucifix and candles? I'd like to hear more church music, whoever was doing that. What spirit was doing that? Was an angel doing that? Two is not flickering. I have not seen a cat ball go off. Ooh, I heard predators. What? Say that again. What? Something against me. Something's against you? On the next Can you speak louder and slower, please? Who is against you?
Who do you think's against you? What are you talking about? Hey, Alex? Your name's Alex? I think I've heard that name, but it's been a while. Can you light up a cat ball here, Alex? I've got a few of them. Some of them are not very sensitive. Alex, can you light up a cat ball? Hillary, are you here? Can you light up a cat ball? That was strange. It just like shut off for a moment. This is the typical white noise it makes. This one sounds a little different than the other SV7. It still no longer. has that chug chug sound. Yes. Like a train. It's white noise. I think some of that might have been a radio. I heard a recruiter. I don't know. I'm gonna sound like Zit Recruiter. That doesn't even make any sense. Are you not coming through clear? Can you please speak slower and louder so I understand you? Michael? Michael? Ooh, Matt K2 really flickered when she said Michael. Michael the Archangel? I'm surprised he's not here clearing out the evil spirits. Although I guess I didn't really... I, pr I said the prayers yesterday. But I didn't actually call them down, per se. Do I need to call down Michael the Archangel? Sounds like the creepy evil ones are afraid. They're not speaking. I don't hear you. So you little cowards must be hiding somewhere. Ooh, bless the Lord. That was very clear, a little bit clear. So now nice spirits are coming through. Okay, that's good. That's incredible. That was a new voice. Is that a kid? Who are you, kid? Anthony? That's like you said, I hear an Anthony. I don't Hello, Anthony. Are you able to speak louder and slower? Hey. Hey. Are you Anthony? It's the same voice. Hello, Anthony. Where are you from? How are you doing? What town do you come from? Are you still there? Hello? Oh, that was very faint, but I heard that. He said he's bored. Well, you're making me bored, too. Talk. Please. Yes. 
speed up. Where are you buried? Where are you interred? Where is your body? What? He was bored. He was bored. Can you speak louder, please? Who's bored? Am I boring you? It's funny they say that because I always say they're boring to me if they don't talk. I don't know if that's kind of mocking me or if they literally are. They probably are bored though, I bet. I'm sorry you're bored. Do you need help? Are you trying to go the light?